Next one is here I want to talk about is the offset and uh, the offset we can use it whenever we draw something and then we want to draw uh, uh, something parallel to that um, um, either uh, uh, for example to the top of that or bottom of that or to the right of that or to the left of that um, we can use this uh, command so let's first start with the simple rectangle here um, so assume I have this rectangle here and then I want to um, add another rectangle similar to that but for example with each of those edges be 10 millimeter inside that so uh, I will show you how it, what I mean so I come here, here and click the offset it says what object uh, so first of all you can make sure that you define the distance you if you don't define the distance the offset distance is use what is already being used but here I will come and define the distance I want to do the offset so I assume I want to be 10 millimeter then it says select the object you want to offset so I will click on that and look at that it will offset that so this blue one is the one that I want to offset if I bring the mouse inside that it's going to create another one that each of the uh, um, uh, edge of that is 10 millimeter from the uh, respective edge. If I bring it outside, it's going to offset, create one of, uh, outside with the offset of 10 millimeter. So either inside or outside. So I can, for example, bring my mouse inside and click on that. Then the distance of this edge and this edge is 10 millimeter, or the, this edge and this edge is 10 millimeter. So basically, each edge has a 10 millimeter uh, respect to that. So similarly, I can do it. Uh, if I want to do it for example also so assume again I go ahead and click on the offset so it says you see it's already have the 10 millimeter what we already use but assume this time I want to do the 5 millimeter offset and then it says select the object you want to offset so this is the object I want and I want to offset it outside and then I enter so it's gonna create an offset for me outside of that um, uh, uh, now let's uh, and then when I'm done I just press enter or press escape to uh, exit the comment now let's um, uh, uh, draw another uh, uh, rectangle but this time I draw the rectangle with lines rather than uh, uh, with the uh, uh, rectangle command here uh, so I assume I have the rectangle I'm going up here and up here oh. <clears throat> bring it up here and here and enter so I assume uh, these two rectangles have now I want to show you what's or how the offset is going to be different so what's the difference between these two this one is a single object so it's because I draw it with the rectangle command is basically has a uh, is a polyline it's a closed polyline but this one here on the right is just series of line just i draw one after another so <clears throat> if i go ahead and do the offset with uh, this one so if i click the, on the offset and assume again i want to do the offset that five minutes so the distance it says the offset distance is going to be five i click five for this one I click the object and I bring the uh, mouse inside and click and then press enter to exit so I have the offset. Now let's see, repeat it with this one. If I come here, click on the offset and enter the distance of the offset is 5 and choose that. If I choose that line and then bring my mouse, it's going to create one here. So if I only do it for that line, if I come here and click it on that line, it will ask me if you want to put it outside or inside so I can put it again for example inside then it's uh, go to the next line click on that I bring my mouse inside and repeat it and then I bring to the next one clicking bring my mouse inside and click on that and then I press enter so although both of these two might seem the similar so this is a rectangle and this is a rectangle but you will see because here I have sets of line so I can each time I only offset one line at a time and you will see 
what happened in the corner but here if you because it's the entire rectangle is one drawing in one object it, it offset the entire rectangle once so depend on what you need to do um, you can use that offset but it's very helpful again um, comment if you have a drawing and you want to create a very similar um, uh, offset of that inside that or outside that uh, you just click on that and then move your mouse there uh, here um, uh, <coughs> uh, to do that uh, as um, like here. Uh, other thing is that you can uh, also do the offset uh, as much as you want so for example here I come here again click on the offset and enter uh, again this time I'm gonna enter 10 and then select it so if I select that we're gonna offset it here and then I can select on the next one and offset it to the right and then I select on this one offset it to the right and click on this one offset it to the right to the right and uh, select on that click to the right and then press enter so we can <clears throat> create a series of uh, line uh, like that one uh, each of them uh, has this, uh, the same offset respect to um, uh, other one and drawing or drawing in the outside or any 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 location that you uh, you need them to be.